Hello, this is Jared from Commit Quality, and in today's video, we're going to go over grouping and layout organization in Cypress. So, why do we need to group our tests and why do they need to look good? Well, first thing is organizing and understanding the structure of the tests not only provides easier reading, it's also a way to keep repetitive code inside specific blocks, which essentially keeps things dry, which means do not repeat yourself. You can then scope your test to a given described block, and it gives that readability a little bit more edge to make those tests a bit prettier. And it's also a good way of providing specific config options to a group of tests. So a little bit later on in this video, I'm going to show you how we can do things like skip a group of tests for a specific browser. So I'm in VS Code, let's touch over what I've done. I've just got a single test, which is going to Google, it's clicking something on the page, and then we do in a assertion. Nothing complex about it, it's just my nice simple test. And for now, let's say npx Cypress open, hit enter, and we'll just make sure that this test is passing and working. Okay, so let's just go to end-to-end -end testing. I'm going to select Electron and start end-to-end -end testing. Okay, let's just go to grouping and click on the basic test. Remember, all I'm doing at this point is checking that the test is passing and we're in a state that it's okay to reuse. Here we go, it went to Google, clicked the um, accept uh, the terms and conditions and or the cookies, whatever it was, accepting the cookies and then asserting that this search is visible, completely fine. So let's jump back into our test code. So we've got this one test. I wanna just add this into a block now, so our describe statement. So to do that, I can say describe, I can name it what I want. So in this case, I'll say my test suite. And then we'll just say, put that test inside here for now. Okay, so let's copy this test and just put it inside the describe block. And save that. And I'm going to go back into Cypress. You can see it's running, all working okay. If I go back another layer, so go into my specs. Well, you can see now we've got grouping, basic test, and we've got this basic test, which is now inside the my test suite block. So that's one thing I wanted to show, and I'll show you how it works with different blocks now and different kind of descriptions we have. But what I want to state is when I've done this describe, this is our block, so we can have multiple tests or a single test inside this. We can add hooks inside this. Hooks is going to be covered in a future video, so don't worry too much about that. We'll cover nesting hooks inside blocks and inside just a generic test file in that video. Um, but what I want, what I'm trying to explain is we can do what we want and we can scope whatever we want inside this describe. We can also put as many tests as we want in there and you can also have nested describes. So I could say, here's um, my describe block and then I'll nest one inside, which we'll go over in a second. But let's stick to the basics. We have a single test. Let's now add another test inside our test suite and we'll name this my second test. It'll do exactly the same because the test code doesn't matter. What I want to show is how we group in everything. So save that and go back. What you can see now is you've got my test suite and you have my first test and then my second test nested. So it shows a really nice way of how we can handle um, putting tests inside things. So let's see how we can nest things now then. So we have that first test suite. I'm going to say, I'm going to copy all of this and I'm gonna paste it down. So I wanna have my second describe block here and we'll call it my test suite two. So what we're expecting now is two describe blocks. It's gonna show in Cypress as there's two distinct blocks and it's gonna have those four tests. So you can see my test suite and my test suite two, all completely fine. Makes it look a lot neater because we kind of split them out. You can have for, for different functionality, which would make a lot more sense and make it readable. But we talked about nesting things. So let's say now I this test needs to be nested for whatever reason. Maybe it's like sub functionality or maybe you want to change the configuration options. Well, we can do that. I can say describe again in obviously and I'm inside this. And I'll name this uh, Suite V 2.1. So that's my test suite version 2.1. Let's just go through the normal process of creating that. 
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this test. Oh, I can cut it. I'll just cut it in. So what we'll see now is the order of all of this. So what we're going to see now is we have our test suite and then we have another one nested inside of it and it's going to group into the version 2.1. So we still have the four tests, but now we've got the test inside that describe block and then we also have another nested one. So you could keep nesting if you want and keep going and going. And we talked about having different kind of configuration values. So maybe the case is in test suite 2, the tests inside the describe block called v21 maybe i'm gonna say that i want to not run these tests if i'm in the electron browser which is what we're using right now i can do that i can say browser and don't run if it's electron let's do that let me add my comma here so that's my config values i've passed through so now if i go back into here well, here we are, it's already done it for us. So it's run these, it's automatically identified that I'm in the Electron browser and because I've said I wanna skip it, it's saying that's skipped due to browser, so it's not executed. And that's a good way then of grouping the tests that you only wanna run in certain environments, certain browsers, maybe you just want different configuration values. It's really that easy. And we did touch on as well, so you're think you might be thinking, okay, so I've got my blocks, can I have just a test outside of these blocks? And the answer is yes, of course you can. We could say, copy that test and let's just put it outside of the block. So now I've got a general test, which is just in the test file. I now have a block of tests and I have a bl another block of tests, which we've called version two and the nested one inside. So I save that and you'll see when they load now. So we've got our test suite test suite with version 2.1 which has been skipped but then also we have my first test we have my first test which is global to that test file so the point of this is trying to show you how you can kind of scope everything together so of course my descriptions of these are not very good but if you've got different pieces of functionality maybe you want to check um, validation in one describe block and then the actual functionality of things in another. You can do that, you can make it readable, but I'm hoping that this video is showing you how easy it is to kind of group your tests and change certain values so you don't have to keep creating a lot of test files or it gets a bit out of control and things are becoming repeated and you're not sticking to the dry kind of concept. Last thing I do want to say is, um, I think we touched on this in my anatomy video, but because we're talking about grouping, you can use describe, which is the common one I see, but you can also use context as well, which is exactly the same as grouping your tests, but I tend to stick to the describe statements. As always, if you do have any questions on this, please drop a comment below. A like and subscribe is greatly appreciated. Thank you for watching and have a great day.